Okay, on here. Back out in the garage at the uh, backup server. That's the, uh, well, there's two gateways step stacked on top of each other. It's the bottom one. 500 megahertz. Uh, no internet out here, so... Yeah, when I reboot my CP links, the one that this uh, zone net is repeating wirelessly, then it does lose. <coughs> it loses its uh, internet out here. So I've got to uh, unplug it. About to fall, so okay, see, there we go. Put it back in. Go ahead and leave it like that for a minute. Got an extra cable dangling around. Oh, let's put it up. I don't know, let's. Should be. Takes a minute to get. Back up and going again. But yeah, my extra cable. So I can easily, quickly plug something in. It should be up. Negative. It should have, if, if my address reservation worked, it may, it, it didn't show up. So, in my... Uh, TP link, so I'm thinking that maybe it didn't work. Oh, uh, what do we got up here? It's pretty, uh, sometimes it works okay to film a CRT monitor, sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, updates, yeah. Well, it can't do updates now. Oh, it doesn't even have an in. Yeah, sometimes you gotta. Disable and enable network. Usually it does it by itself automatically, but there, now it's trying to reload the network connection. It usually does it by itself, but sometimes you gotta just, if it doesn't very you know, quickly enough, then disable it and re enable it. Okay, now connection established. Let's see if we got internet. If we got internet, then we should be serving. There we go, we're back. So I don't know, but my website was not loading right. It was kind of loading, kind of not. So I'm wondering if something was wrong anyway. Uh, that one might be, you know, it's got the same IP address, one zero dot one one six. Uh, you can't really read that, can you? Um, so that's good. So maybe my address reservation, maybe it didn't show up because the machine wasn't uh, online on the in on the network, so, so to say, so to speak. So now we're okay. Uh, yeah, it's trying to do an update. I thought it did that. It went ahead and did that earlier. Oh, okay. I don't remember my root. It won't. That needs the root password to look at that, and I don't remember. I thought it was doing automatic updates. I really want them to do it, but I'll have to, uh, I'm going to hit install update, see if it'll just do it without me having to log in, no? Okay, well let me try here. I don't really remember for sure what it might be. Oops. I think I made it something really hard. Yeah, I did. I've got. I had to. I'd have to go get it. I'll just have to do that in a minute. I might come back out in a minute, but I don't have to make a video of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want it to do the updates. It hasn't been on in a long time. It needs updating. Okay, uh, let's go see. Go back in the house and see if my website is up on my other machine that uh, is on a different router. That way it's 
it's a simulates going to it from the internet well it does go to it, it goes through the internet to get to it so that way it see if you do it from the machine that's on the same uh, network same IP address range then it will go it will take automatically take the browser will automatically take the shortest route which is through your local network and you won't know that you're like you're on on your local network but down on the internet so that's that's what I was trying to say earlier okay just going bye